Let's talk about bile sludge. It is a real thing. And what it is, it's a pre-gallstone state. Gallstones develop over a period of time from sludge. And what we're talking about is a concentration of cholesterol without the thinning agent, which is bile. So that's really what it is, and it can create a lot of problems. Now, in bile salts, you don't just have bile salts. There's some cholesterol crystals, there's calcium salts, there's bilirubin, which is a byproduct of red blood cells. When red blood cells get old or damaged, bilirubin is the byproduct of that. There's salt, there's mucin, which is a compound involved in the mucus layer that lines the inside of the body and the gut and the mouth. It's all over the place. And then, of course, there's bile salts. So the more we have of this and the less we have of this, we start developing sludge and then it turns into a stone. This happens quite frequently in pregnancy because there's so much pressure on your abdominal cavity up into these organs right here, the pancreas, the gallbladder, and the liver. Then you get this stasis or stagnant um, sludge that can develop in the stones. Realize you have two types of bile salts. You have bile salts that are made from your liver and also bile salts that are made from your microbes. So if you had a history of antibiotics and you destroy the friendly bacteria, that can create a bile deficiency and then increase your bile sludge. When you get a gastric bypass, um, you're gonna increase the risk of getting stones because you alter the mechanics of the small intestine and the stomach as well. And so if we look at this, we have the liver, we have the gallbladder right here, and this is the bile, then we have the pancreas, then we have the small intestines. The gallbladder gets contracted when you eat squeezing about 70% of that bile into the small intestine. Now, you're also getting the pancreas that is releasing lipase, and it's going to help break down that fat at this point right in your small intestine. But many times this sludge can get jammed up and stuck in these ducts throughout here to the pancreas, and down through here as well. And then you get a lot of pressure. You get a lot of pain and inflammation. And that can even cause pancreatitis. It can then back up to the liver, creating inflammation in the liver, hepatitis, and eventually cirrhosis. Because what happens, bile salts are detergents. And they're meant to be in the right place. So if they're in the wrong place, let's say they're stuck up here in the liver tissue, that can create a major irritation to the liver tissue and create a lot of side effects. One of the symptoms would be pain in the right upper quadrant right here. And so that means that we're not getting that flow through here. And the sludge can also develop in the gallbladder itself and then eventually turn into gallstones too and prevent the uh, release of the sludge into the ducts. One really important function of bile is the elimination of drugs, medications, xenobiotics. That would be any foreign chemicals to the body, drugs or chemicals, toxins, heavy metals, fat-soluble poisons, all sorts of things that shouldn't be in your body. If you have the following symptoms, like pain in your central part of your abdomen right here, or in the right upper quadrant, or even the left side. And if it's bile sludge, a very simple solution would be to start taking some purified bile salts on an empty stomach. What that's going to do, it's going to help release this blockage and allow the drainage to occur through here. And you're going to find the symptoms greatly diminish. Now, the key is taking in an empty stomach because if you take it with food, those bile salts might be focusing on digestion and not helping you drain some of these uh, blockages through here. Now realize this is just temporary as you implement the correct diet. 
If you're on the correct diet, you shouldn't have any problems at all. If you're new to my channel, I put down the best diet that you should be on down below. Check it out.